Welcome back to the Civic Sci TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Kraus. Let's see what's new this week in the world of civic science in this week's special Valentine's Day edition. Singing and dancing the night away might make for a great Valentine's Day date, but how about for sharing science? The Human Dynamics Group at the MIT Media Lab is exploring research on human networks in a more approachable way. By using video and music, Lays Mohr, PhD student, has directed a music video on social networks for a Dance Your PhD competition hosted by Science Magazine. Explaining research through song and dance is a great visual and auditory representation of the data to make it more accessible. Check out the video entry and others at the link in the description below. Spreading misinformation is one way to break up a happy couple. A comprehensive literature review was conducted on strategies to confront misinformation related to health and the environment. The results indicate that interventions based on critical information, also known as debunking, were the most used among the included studies, which included 32 peer-reviewed papers. This is followed by exposure and correction, another form of debunking and inoculation, information, and media literacy. This is called pre-bunking. Like a vaccine, you get correct information ahead of receiving the misinformation. The least popular method was using deliberation prompts or nudging people towards a particular perspective. Check out the article to see the effectiveness of each strategy, although it is nuanced and success often depends on the specific myth that is being challenged. There is no better way to make someone fall in love with you than to keep them laughing. But what about falling in love with science? The SciCommerce Mentor Chat is hosting a session with Mark Abrams on the importance of humor to make people laugh, then think. He will speak to the use of laughter at the IG Nobel Prizes and his experience of founding the award ceremony hosted by real Nobel laureates to honor the silliest awards for real scientific research. The webinar is on February 22nd at 2.30 Eastern. Sign up at the link in the description below. Do you love books? Well, you can apply to be an educational partner for the Constructive Visions book project. This book shares stories of different futures, tackling themes from the economy, pollution, knowledge, food, wildlife, healing, community, and education. If you have an idea for an educational outreach project related to any of these themes, especially for grades five to seven, that will make use of the Constructive Vision storytelling materials, be sure to look into this opportunity. In return, you get $700, access to the National Geographic storytellers and creators behind the project, and access to the support network and social media promotions for the activity. Check out the stipulations and the application at the link in the description below. The deadline is 15th of February, though they are willing to consider extensions on a case-by-case -case basis. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's special edition of the Civic Sci TV Newsroom Roundup. We hope to see you next time.